And we are back on the Madden 17 Titans franchise, and after having our bye week in week five, we return home to face another tough opponent in the San Diego Chargers. And I'm telling you guys, the schedule makers did not do us any favors this year because through four games, we've already faced three Pro Bowl quarterbacks and two Pro Bowl wide receivers. In addition to that, two of those matchups were against divisional opponents, and the other two were against conference opponents. So it's definitely been an interesting start to the season, you guys. Now, getting into the gameplay, Mariota comes out under center and tosses it to Derrick Henry off the right side, looking for a lane, and there's just nowhere to go with it. He's going to be gang tackled at the 21 after a one yard loss. That brings up second down. Mariota in the gun, empty backfield, fires across the middle, completes a right, he breaks a tackle, and he has nothing but green grass in front of him, and he will take it all the way to the house for a 79 yard touchdown on the second play of the game. This is exactly the way that we wanted to come out and start the game. The emphasis on the game plan was to start fast and the coaches couldn't have drawn it up any better on the sideline because it was just the perfect play call against the Chargers blitz. Kendall Wright was able to make the grab on the slant, make a defender miss and take it 79 yards to pay dirt. And it might be too early to tell, but it looks like Kendall Wright is developing a really solid rapport with Mariota. We might want to keep an eye on how that unfolds during the rest of the season. Now, the defense takes the field on a second and nine situation. Rivers looking to set the play up to Gordon. He makes the grab and gets a couple of nice blocks downfield with one man to beat, but he's going to be tackled at the 28 yard line by Lavaris and Polly. And we just got gashed. The screenplay goes for a huge gain of 46, and the Chargers are just outside the red zone after that huge pickup. So on first and 10 after the huge play, Gordon gets the carry up the middle, but he's tackled for no gain, bringing up second and eight. Rivers out of the gun, taking the snap. He targets his wide receiver near the sideline, but the pass is out of reach and out of bounds. And that brings up third and eight. Rivers in the gun once again with time in the pocket. Checks it down to the halfback, Gordon, who leaks out of the backfield. He makes the catch and picks up a first down. Nobody covered the back there. So after the first down pickup, Oliver gets the carry off the right side and loses two on the play. That's going to knock them back to a second and 12. Out of the pistol now, Gordon gets the carry off the left side, and he's going to take it all the way up to the five-yard line. The Chargers can still get a first down here if they pick up four yards. They're not quite in goal-to-go -go territory. So Rivers dumps it off to Oliver, gets gang tackled just shy of the first down marker. So the defense does a great Great job keeping the Chargers out of the end zone and stopping them from picking up that first down as well because that would have been huge. Now getting back on offense here second and eight, Mariota connects with his tight end Wilson and he's going to be taken out of bounds at the 46. Next play on first and 10, Henry gets the carry and has a nice hole up the middle of the field and that run is going to move the chains in the Chargers territory. And we've got to give credit to the O-line on that play because that was a nice run. So the next play, Mariota pump fakes and delivers a pass to Taylor Gabriel across the middle of the field. And did you guys just see him flip that DB when he stood up? That animation was just too crazy. And a quick sidebar on that note, I'm not sure if you guys have been following the Madden 18 developer blogs. There's a ton of good content out there that pretty much details what we can expect in Madden 18. But those types of animations where players just randomly flip over like we just saw in that Taylor Gabriel clip, I believe those issues have been addressed. So it's definitely something to look forward to in Madden 18. Now getting back to second and goal, Rivers tosses it off the right side to Henry. He breaks a tackle, keeps his balance, and then runs in for the score. That's the Derrick Henry that I want to see for the rest of the season. I don't want to see any more of these fingertip tackles where he barely gets touched and falls to the ground. I want to see him fight his way through contact just like he did right there with Ingram and then stay up and fight for some extra yardage. He's too big of a back to be playing as soft as he has been over the last four games. We definitely need him to step up. Now, on the Chargers' next drive, they set up shop inside the red zone. The handoff to Gordon there goes pretty much nowhere, setting up a third and goal. Rivers, with time in the pocket, looks for a receiver downfield, but gets rid of it to Oliver, who's going to be stopped well short of the goal line. And the defense does another good job at being stingy in the red zone and keeping the Chargers out. And we'll settle for giving up three at this point. As long as our offense can come out and answer, we won't have anything to worry about. So Cooley gets the carry on the next play and he's going to be stuffed at the line. He might have got a yard on the play and that brings up second down. Mariota tries to force it in the coverage to Gabriel and that could have been picked off, but it's dropped incomplete. Then on third and nine, Mariota looking to make a play, finds Luke Wilson, but he can't hang on to it. The coverage was there that forced the incompletion. So we go three and out and give it right back to the Chargers. Rivers with the play fake, winds up and throws a rainbow deep downfield and is caught by Benjamin. The rookie corner in Impali looked like he was in good position, but that was just a great adjustment in the air by Benjamin. So after the deep connection, the Chargers have it at the 18. Gordon gets the carry up the middle, and he's going to pick up a solid gain of six on the play. On second and four now, Rivers takes a snap out of the gun, gives it to Gordon again up the middle, and he picks up the first down and some. 
That was just too easy. A couple plays later on third and goal, Rivers with the snap. And where is the pass rush? Rivers has all day back there. And then finally, Williamson steps up and applies pressure to Rivers, making him get rid of the ball. And once again, the defense holds the Chargers to yet another field goal. So now we should start to be a little concerned because they put up nine unanswered. And at some point, those field goals could turn into touchdowns. So we definitely got to get something going on this drive. Now on second and short here, Mariota takes a snap under center. He gets sacked and fumbles the ball. Corey legit is right there to pick it up and the big fella is running for his life. And Derrick Henry is right there to bring him down from behind at the nine yard line. They have great field position after the turnover. And these are the types of plays right here that completely swing momentum in the opposite direction. The defense has really been playing solid all game, keeping the Chargers out of the end zone. And then our offense goes out and does this. I mean, there's really no answer for it. We're asking a lot from our defense as the Chargers set up the screenplay to Gordon. To keep them out of the end zone for a fourth straight time is going to be tough. On second and goal here, Gordon gets to carry up the middle, and Brown is right there to shut that play down, bringing up third and goal. And then Eric Berry delivers the boom right down the pipe. As soon as Gordon got the handoff, Berry is already in the backfield delivering a crushing blow that leaves Gordon gazing up at the stars. That was just a crazy hit right there. But on top of that, the defense does it yet again. This is the fourth consecutive field goal for the Chargers, and with the way that the offense has been playing up to this point, I'll take it. Now, getting into our next drive on second and 10, Mariota takes a snap out of the gun, throws it up top to Odell Beckham. He goes up and grabs it. He just plucks the ball right out of the air. That was a nice play. On the next play on first and 10, Mariota looking to scramble. He sees an open receiver downfield, but before he can get rid of it, he gets taken down for a sack. And that's really how it's been for us all day on offense, but we got to fight through it. So on the next play, looking at second and 21, Mariota comes out in the empty backfield, takes the snap, trying to go deep to Taylor Gabriel. He's got a step. He makes the grab and takes it all the way up to the 10 yard line. What a great pickup in free agency. Taylor Gabriel just keeps making plays. It seems like whenever we need a big play, he's always ready to step up. So after the huge connection, we've got first and goal from the 10. Luke Wilson hauls it in. He's going to be brought down at the three yard line. Looking at second and goal now, Mariota looking to pass, scrambling, throws back across his body that was a dangerous pass but the pass was brought in by sharp out of the end zone so looking at third and goal mariota tries to make a play but forces it into gabriel and it's picked off and you guys notice who picked it off right jason mccordy of all people go figure but anyways we had to have time up two points in a weird game but hopefully we'll be able to get things straightened out in the second half on the Chargers first drive in the third, Rivers takes the snap out of the gun, dumps it short to Benjamin, he jukes a couple defenders, and he's going to pick up a first down and some on the play. Setting up first and 10 from the 40, the Chargers go back to the ground game, Gordon with the spin move, and he's going to move it up to the Titans 31. So once again, we're seeing this Chargers offense in rhythm as Gordon gets the carry here off the right side, picking up yet another first down, but there is a flag on the play and it looks like the call's going against the defense. It's a face mask penalty and the Chargers get to tack on an additional 15 yards from the spot of the foul. So looking at first and 10 from the 12, Rivers dumps it off to Benjamin and he's going to walk in untouched for an easy score. And just like I said earlier in the video that at some point, those field goals are going to turn into touchdowns. And right now we've got a lot of work to do. So getting back on offense here is Wright makes a nice grab right there across the middle, bringing up first and 10 from the 42. Mariota then targets Gabriel again, but he can't hold on to it. The big shot there knocked the ball loose. The next play on second and 10, Wilson's in motion, high snap. Play action by Mariota, tries to hit Gabriel again across the middle, but Verrett is not having any of it today. So now we got a third and long situation. Mariota with an empty backfield hits OBJ across the middle, but he's going to be brought down well short of the first down marker. And there really isn't much to think about here. We've got to take the points. So Ryan Suckup comes up, lines it up, and knocks it right through. So there's still a good amount of time left. We just have to come out and play some solid defense and get the ball back to our offense and see if we can put more points up on the board. And that's exactly what can get us started right there. A big sack on defense. Daquan Jones bullies his way through McDonald to get to Phillip Rivers. And it looks like Jarrell Casey might have gotten there around the same time as well. So that was a great effort by both guys. Now the Chargers come out facing a third and long situation. Rivers takes the snap out of the gun, trying to make a play downfield, but the pocket breaks down on him and he's forced to get rid of it. So on consecutive plays, the pass rush does a great job at getting to Rivers. And now all the pressure shifts back to the offense as Mariota comes out under center, decides to scramble but keeps his eyes up, looking downfield, and throws complete to Wright who makes a diving grab. That was a nice play. A couple plays later on third and 13, Mariota with time drops it in the bucket, complete to Sharp. I have no idea how he was able to fit that in there. Take a look at this play, you guys. The ball is thrown right on the money. That's the only spot where Sharp had a chance to get it. That was an amazing pass by Mariota. 
So a couple plays later, looking at a second and 11. With the flag on the play, Mariota still looking downfield. Throws it deep to Beckham. And he goes up and snags it out of the air. But we've got to see what this flag is going to be. Because this could be a touchdown. But it's going to be offensive holding. So this one is coming back. And we're facing a second and 21. So Mariota takes the snap out of the pistol. Throws complete to Odell Beckham Jr. And gets a good chunk of that 21 yards. The next play on third and short, Mariota again connects downfield with his tight end Luke Wilson, and this time it's going to move us into the red zone. Moving ahead a bit for the sake of time is third and five here. Mariota with the play fake, throws a laser to Taylor Gabriel who makes the grab for the score right in front of Jason Verrett who's having a really solid game, but that was just better offense and execution all the way around. That was a really nice play right there. But unfortunately, I suck at kicking extra points apparently, and that just happened. So the extra point try is no good as the defense tries to keep the Chargers out of the end zone yet again. But on the first and goal carry by Gordon up the middle, he weaves his way through the defense and pretty much walks it in for the score. We're now facing a three point deficit yet again. So here we go on our next drive. The wide receiver screenplay goes to Gabriel who makes the grab, turns it upfield and gets tackled out of bounds at the 49. So looking at first and 10, the Titans spread the field and throw quick to Wilson across the middle and he makes another grab on the day to move the chains. And then on the next play, Cooley gets the carry up the middle and that's going to put us well inside field goal range bringing up a second and two. Mariota from the gun trying to scramble keeping the play alive but decides to take off and run for it at the last second but it's too little too late and fortunately he was able to hang on it through the collision because those are usually fumbles right there. So now looking at third and two Cooley gets it again up the middle and he picks up another first down on the drive which leads to a Ryan suck up field goal and now we are tied at 26 and this game is officially up for grabs. Who wants it most? On the next Chargers drive, Gordon gets it up the middle, and there's just no running room on that play, and that brings up second and eight. Gordon again with the carry, stutters a little bit after taking the handoff, but just like the play before, goes nowhere with it. Then on third and six, they give it to Gordon up the middle, trying to milk the clock, but we call our final timeout. Gano comes out to break the tie, the kick is up and good, and they lead by three, so we've got 52 seconds with no timeouts to make something happen. Can we be great? Mariota trying to escape the pocket to extend the play, throws it down the sideline, and is caught by Odell Beckham Jr., but he's out of bounds. But you guys have got to see this catch by Odell. I mean, this guy just went up and grabbed it one-handed, and he kind of does this little Statue of Liberty thing with it, but unfortunately, the play doesn't count as he was out of bounds. So looking at second and 10, Mariota hits Kendall right in the deep out, and that's going to move the chains up to the 36. A couple plays later on second and 10, Mariota looking to scramble, throws complete to Odell Beckham in the middle of the field, but with no timeouts, we have to get to the line and kill the clock, and we do exactly that. Now, after an incompletion on the next play, it's third and 10. Mariota takes a snap out of the gun and decides to scramble to buy time, but still looking downfield, trying to make a play, targeting the sideline, but the pass is broken up, incomplete. With eight seconds left in the game, all we can do is throw it up and hope our prayer gets answered. Mariota takes the snap, trying to extend the play, but he's going to get taken down for a sack. And that's the way that this one is going to end, folks. In a really tough, hard-fought game, we're going to drop this one to the Chargers. The final score is 29-26, to and all I can think about is an interception thrown going into halftime. That could have been seven points, and we would have gotten out of here with a W. But anyway, that's the way that it played out, and we take another L in the season. Now, we don't award game balls after losses, but I will give an honorable mention to Kendall Wright, who had a monster of a game. He finished the day with 147 yards from five catches and one touchdown. That was just an amazing game by Kendall. Now, there is one last thing that I want to run by you guys before you get out of here, and that's that the trade deadline is going to be in one more game. So if you guys have any other names out there that you want me to trade for, go on ahead and leave them in the comment section below, because after the next game, we won't be able to do anything else for the rest of the season. Besides that, that's all the time that we got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.